We're going to be baking our nails instead of baking banana bread. So I'm going to do gel nails today, but I'm also going to do nail art, which is a little bit ambitious for the first time person, but I have everything prepared. I dropped two bills on the website. I, I wonder why being at home have been able to grow my nails like this disgustingly long. So I bought all these colors from Bio Seaweed Gel, which acts like a shellac. This is a one-step gel polish. I bought nail brushes and I was about to buy a nail lamp, but then I looked online and nail lamps are really expensive for what they are. And then Stefan verified this for me, but essentially all you need is UV LED bulbs. He went on a lengthy Science. process and explained it to me and I already forgot. So instead on Amazon, I got myself an LED flashlight. I'm gonna use the mirror that every girl owns, the Sephora Compact, and use that to reflect the light, to cure it as evenly as possible. I will test it out and let you guys know how that works out. And I will link all the products that I purchased. I bought the brushes separate from Bio Seaweed um, and all the colors that I use, I will link in the description. Actually, funny enough, Stefan bought a car modeling kit and I'm like, Steph, that's nail art stuff. Look, he has a nail file. This even says OPI. Cuticle trimmers, but like, made for men so we both bought very similar tools to achieve very different things because he said he's not sharing his no sharing this is my inspiration for today i like the look of having totally different nails on every single one so i'll shape my nails and then i'll buff them I'm gonna see if i could do some more organic and less perfect shapes for my right hand art so that it doesn't put too much pressure on my on my left hand. Poor thing. It gets performance anxiety. It's okay. We all do. Now I'm gonna use alcohol to wipe my nails. I'm gonna start with the base coat. Technically it doesn't need a base coat or a top coat, but just for longevity I'm gonna add that because it is recommended. Let's try this. Well, I'm gonna set the timer. You ever, whenever you do your nails at the salon, do you ever feel it curing? Because I do feel it curing. Your nail gets a, like, a little um, cool. I got the base down, so we'll see after the first coat if my curing technique is working. This shade is called Milkshake. Ah, it's dry. This is crazy. So we're gonna start on the nail art. Ah. Oh, this is the perfect yellow. I have hot, sweaty hands and they take forever to dry because of the heat of my hands. So this is so nice. I cure it. I will do flowers. You see how I drag the color from the excess from the first petal? It's called being professional. I also need orange for something else. Let's do white. White is for the clouds and eyes. This color that I got is called Toronto. Ooh, it's not a great blue. I, I couldn't quite tell what kind of blue it would be, but this is the right blue for the blue that I need. So far I've been using the dabbers the daughters, the diddly puffs. I found that it's been quite easy to use. It is now four o'clock, so I would say 50% of the nail art took about an hour. It really doesn't feel like that long. Maybe it's because I'm just having so much fun, which makes this worth it in the first place, is then. And if you need inspiration for your nail art, if you don't like these little figures that I'm drawing, you could look up emojis. I feel like motherfucking Bob Ross building colors. Okay, let's do black. Black is kind of scary. Gel is easier to do nail art because 
If you fuck something up, you can just wipe it off without wiping off all your polish. Oh my gosh, if that is not the cutest, happy, the eyes are a little creepy, I'm gonna wipe that off. If you were doing nail art that was, you know, pattern on the full nail, I would be cautious about how thick you're building it, but because these are little symbols on a finger, I can tell that it's noticeably thicker, but it doesn't affect anything because it's just a little part of the nail. Alright. Okay, snake time. Look, I did a spermy tadpole. I just realized why the bottles are solid black is because if this was in the sunlight, the polish would cure it in the bottle. Isn't that so smart? Now I do the tongue. Since this is an all-in-one formula, you don't need top coat anyways, so yeah, there we go. I couldn't be happier with how this turned out. It's way easier than doing regular nail art. I should have done this so much earlier. If you guys want to see more nail art or if you want me to recreate looks, send me pictures. I would love to do this again and again and again. If you like this, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you can. And you can find me on Insta and TikTok at Q. See you guys next time. Bye.